All right, you scoundrels, listen up. As some of you may know, there's been an updated model bench. We're in 0.4.1 and some cool new features have been added. So I figured we'd go ahead and kind of do what we did last time, but maybe more successfully. So what we're going to do today is build Tip Boy. And that's going to be our, uh, our character that we're going to build. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to add a part and name the part. I'm going to call this the end of the, like, you know, body, not bodsy. And uh, we're going to drop down the elements here. I'm going to go ahead to texture. Okay, we had a crash. All right, so we're back in Model Bench, and uh, we're going to try that again. We're going to add a part, <laughs> and uh, we're going to add a shape to that part. Let's go ahead and alt that. It crashed again. All right, we're back in Model... <laughs> All right, we're back in Model Bench, and this time we're just gonna start over. Let's see if we can go to new model, to boy, to blank template, and uh, I guess we'll go ahead and bring in a skin. Let's go ahead and see what that does. My skin, create model. All right, so as you can see, to boy two, to boy two. Uh, we got our skin in there, we got elements. We don't have anything in yet. Let's go ahead and add a part, and let's add a shape to that part. Okay, I don't know what was going on before. Some model bench was not happy. Anyway, so obviously it starts us off with this, uh, the default position for the texture, but uh, we don't want that. So let's go ahead and come up here. I want to rename this body. And we'll just leave this at a uh, new shape for now. We're not going to customize that. And we want to customize the texture though. So one thing, if you recall from our previous tutorial, is we had two options down here. One was scale and one was size. Well, now this one's called UV. And uh, this is going to, you know, it's more logical, I guess. It tells you that this is actually going to be the numerical value of the shape of the UV map. So let's go ahead and pull that up like so. And we don't want that. So we're just going to drag this over and just scale this and size it up the way we need to, just like we discussed in previous times or something. So there you go, it automatically did that and you'll notice down here in the UV, the values have changed. So you can change it here or you can change it over here. This seems a little bit easier to me because you're not having to guess, but whatever. And of course, another thing we'll probably wanna do here is move the rotation point there. So we're just gonna change the pivot point here to I guess it'll be negative two or no, it'll be negative four. I'm going to go ahead and change the Y because why not? Oh, negative two there. And then that way we get our pivot point right there. I'm just going to say, you know, maybe, maybe we want to uh, have that pivot point somewhere around here. I don't know. We'll go with that. There we go good to go there and we're gonna say that this is the floor so we want to bring this up a ways because we don't want that issue that we had before where he spawns in the ground all right so now that we've got that then what we're gonna do is bring in a new part bada bing bada boom and this one's gonna be automatically parented to the body which is good for me we can call this one head add a shape to that part bada bing bada boom by default it gets you this you know, default position for the UV, which is good for us. We're just gonna change the pivot point here for, and I think this is good at zero there. And then we're gonna bring this one to negative four. And what we want to do at this point is use the actual part to change the position. So we're gonna do like that, line that up real good there. I think we're doing okay. And as you can see there, those things line up and that's how we want them. So I think we're good to go. So we're basically just going to keep doing that. We're going to keep adding uh, new parts. Let's go ahead and select the body, new part. And these are going to be the arms. So let's say left arm. And then we add another part to it or shape. And uh, we'll just leave that a new shape. And as you can see here, we've got our default thing again. But all we got to do is come over here slap these together real quick like and there it is and we of course want to change our pivot point we're gonna just bring this over i think negative two is where we want that and then we want to bring this way down to like 12 or something and then you bring it over like this and we can have it there of course maybe i want it to not be so high i want it to be like right there we got it in the center okay so then we go back to the part and we're going to move that up and move that over 
And now Steve has a left arm. So here's one of the new features that was added. Now we have a duplicate button. And this is something I advocated for. I protested. Uh, I wrote letters. All sorts of, you know, things that people do nowadays for any problem they have. I went and did that. And I got the duplicate button put in. You can thank me. It was totally only me that was advocating for that. I don't think anyone else would have asked for it. So you're welcome. But here we go. So there we have the arm duplicated. I'm just going to take it drag it on over but of course it is sharing the same texture so maybe we don't want that maybe we want to bring it down so it has the other one so we're just gonna go right there so now we have the arms just like so and hopefully that's okay i may have the skin messed up i don't know but uh that's what we end up with and we have two separate textures for two separate arms, but we duplicate it to make it super easy. And all these things are parented to the body. So if I collapse that, then everything here is parented to the body and we're good to go. So what we want to do, however, is uh, let's go ahead and drop all these so we don't get confused. We're going to bring in a new part and I don't want this one to be parented. So I'm going to drag it like that to make sure that it's its own thing, not in here, but it's its own little special line there. We're going to go right leg call that right leg I'm gonna add a shape to it and as you can see we get the default head which is you know initially kind of creepy but you know you get used to it it's not that big of a deal and uh, we'll just go ahead and bring this down get our leg all shaped up like well, wrong oh wow man okay here we go bring it like that bada bing bada boom get our pivot offset set properly this one to come up to the top unlike how we did the arm if you recall but a bing dead center there and then we come to the actual right leg part bring it up bring it over and we're good to go and then now as you may recall duplicate left leg then uh, we can leave that alone and we're just going to take this drag it on over and now we have that and then we take this and we drag it on over and then we have that so as you can see we have a fully functioning character however we did not add bins and uh, now there's been some new features added to that as well so that's what we're going to cover now so i'm going to go over here to left leg i probably should have done that before i did the duplication stuff so now with the part selected i'm going to go to bend and we're going to go bendable boom just like so so now what we want to do is determine where it's going to bend. As it is now, it's default set to lower, which is actually what we want because we want the lower part of the leg to be the one that bends. And we need to choose what axis it'll bend on. For us, for the knee, X is good to go. And then now we have this bend option here. And as you can see, we can preview the bends now. If you recall, I mentioned that in my previous video. Well, it's back and we can go ahead and bend it just like so. So right now it says X direction both. I want it to only bend backwards. So this means that it will no longer bend forward and backwards. Kind of self-explanatory, but you know, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and bend it so we can see what's going on here. And we want to change our offset. So if I go ahead and drag this, you'll see that that bend is kind of going like a wave there. And it's pretty good. I like it. Anyway, negative 5, not 54, 5. And... That's okay, I guess, if you want it to be, but maybe six. That looks a little bit more dead center. That's halfway, so uh, maybe we'll leave it at six. And we'll just do the same thing for the other leg. Click on the right leg, bendable, lower, offset, negative six, bend on the x-axis, and there you go. Now they're both bendable. So our legs are good to go. They're bendable. So the body's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we want it to be bendable and we want it to bend both ways. So obviously we have the new bending in Monomator now. So what we want to do is do X, Y, and Z. And then you'll see now we have all three of these bend options here. But of course we have not set our offsets. So let's just go ahead and bend all these just, to, you know, I don't know, kind of weird. And we'll bring our offset in. And it takes a little bit, but we'll get there. Let's go ahead and just make it bend on the uh, the thing here. All right, so we've got kind of a wither bend here because we didn't set it to upper because the upper body is what's actually supposed to bend. So let's go ahead and click upper. And then we get the actual bend type that we wanted. So uh, we're just going to get that offset somewhere. 
maybe about 16 I don't know we'll go with that just because and you'll see that the head is actually not going with it and that's kind of a problem but so far I think we've got this set up the way we want it to be got all this stuff going for us hopefully we'll just let that ride and uh, what we want to do though is go to the head and then you'll notice that the bin has this option here lock bin to half and uh, that basically means that it's going to lock it to whatever is bent you know the top of it or whatever so we're going to click that and then now when we go back to the body and we bend the head goes with it you'll see the arms of course are not so we want to do the same thing for those lock bent to half lock bent to half and then we go over here and we're going to bend them oh man look at that it dances like a crazy person all right <laughs> All right, so now we're just gonna go to the arms and do the same thing, bendable, lower, because we don't want the upper to bend. And we're gonna set the offset, maybe negative six, I don't remember. And we're gonna have it bend on the X. And there you go, it does like that. And we don't want it to do this, so we want it to go only forwards. And then you get that, and that, that offset's horrible. So let's bring that up, maybe it'll be negative four. Look good. Looks good enough to me. Doop. 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 That do nope. Nope. Uh doop. And doop. And yeah. Okay, so since those were duplicated, I think we have the same thing on the legs. It actually kind of brought over the bent parameter, whatever I set for the other one, and you just had to kind of customize it a little bit. But uh yeah. So now we've got bendable arms, bendable legs. The body bends, as far as I know, we're getting everything that we wanted out of this. Ugh. All right, so there you go. It looks like we've got our fully fledged Minecraft characters. The only thing we can do now is import this baby into Minimator and see just how much stuff we screwed up. Looks like we don't have this guy exactly where we want him to be. So let's see if we can pop that up a little bit more. I guess we we'll have to do the same with the leg a little bit more there okay and this one make sure you're clicking the parts and not the shapes boop there we go looks like we're good to go so hopefully now when he spawns at zero he will be feet down on the ground so we're going to go over here click on this i'm going to save model and it's going to take me to this and i'm just going to overwrite the one that we had earlier hopefully well you know what i'm going to name him tip boy too because i don't want it to screw up Boom! Now all we gotta do is open up Minimator and see what we get. So let's hop on over to Minimator. Alrighty, so here we are in Minimator using the new version. And uh, what I'm gonna do is come over here. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna click Browse. And then we got Tip Boy 2. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna open. There he is. This is looking promising. Boop! He spawns in. Boots on the ground. Everything looks good to go to me. Click on this. And you'll see that our original rotation point is there, not the way we wanted it to be necessarily. So that's kind of a problem. So uh, it seems that our method did work for the uh, all the parts except for the body. So let's go ahead and hop back into Model Bench and try to identify what that is. Okay, so here we are in Model Bench again. And what we have is I've noticed that when you click the body, this is where the rotation is and that's where it's showing up in Minimator so that makes sense and then when you click the shape it uh, is here where we had this set up so apparently things have to be a little bit different there let's go ahead and okay so I think the mistake that I may have made is I actually changed the position of the shape here so I'm going to go ahead and do is reset that and that actually lines up with the pivot point of the body here so I think that is actually what I did wrong there so what we're going to do is take the body part and position that and as you can see that kind of messed up things here so we're just going to drag these bits down boom 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 and uh, now we have the pivot point on the body about where we would want it to be that's probably not exactly where I had it I don't know but as you can see that's all fixed so that's something you'll want to keep in mind if you change the position of the shape it's not going to correlate to where the actual position of the part is so lesson learned there let's save this and bring it into Minimator and see what we get so here we are in Minimator again as you can see our stuff is all screwed up there but let's go back over here 
we're going to go to this we're going to browse we're going to click tip boy to open yes we want to overwrite this and we get a crash all right so we're back in minimator again and let's go ahead and do this since we didn't save we don't have any of those things in there so maybe the overwrite is what caused the crash let's go ahead and bring it in bada big bada boom there's our guy we click on that and there's the rotation point as you would normally expect click on the body and oh my god it's fixed and this happens now okay i think i figured out what our problem was here we actually didn't change the offset and the offset is dependent upon the position of the body part so what we're going to do is just alter this bring it on down here and uh maybe we zero it out and that's why because the pivot offset here the or, or right here the pivot offset is right there where we want it so that means that the bend i guess will happen at that point so this only needs to be at zero when that's the case so we've got that fixed i actually went through and undid this to just see what that would do for us and there we go so now we've got that set up hopefully that is the end of our problems so let's save it again and hop back into minimator real quick and see if we have a fully functioning character model okay so back in minimator go to the model here browse tip boy to bring him in click on him there's your initial rotation point which is what you always expect click on the body there is that bend him oh my god did we actually make something did we get the problem solved holy my geez oh my god look at that he can turn he can he can do this business Look at that, man. He is such a rebel. I just can't even... Oh my goodness, look at this guy. What is this? He doesn't even care. So there you go, guys. That is how to make a character model in Model Bench, shown in the most professional, concise manner uh, that you'll ever find. All right? So hopefully that was helpful. Hope you learned something. Those are some of the new features in Model Bench. And stop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.